this is, this is something special. This is something really different. It is not like the usual VST plugins that people are used to. Um, so we have created this thing, and this is great. And the first application was the way we have designed them was very similar to how people use them in real life. In the real life, you would have like a, a rack in which you would put a compressor and a cue, an amplifier, and then wire them together. So our software pretty much presents the same paradigm. It's a rack-based paradigm in which you have a, a strip that consists of several processors that are wired together with a simple signal flow. And this is how we started this thing out. And that's how we started shipping this technology. And many people immediately reacted to that. They reacted to the immediacy, stability, and the sound quality. And they started using that in real sessions, recording the sound. And as I mentioned, low latency is very, very important because a performer, you know, having even minuscule latency could uh, psychologically or even on the unconscious level affect the performer and he wouldn't be able to perform as good when the latency is reduced to you know, uh, microseconds as opposed to milliseconds that is achieved in a traditional technology. So people were very excited about this and the sound quality and what they could do with that. So what people were saying, okay, we love the sound of these things, we love the stability and extremely low latency. We want to have this thing in our doll. We want to be able to treat it like a plug-in. You open it, you, you insert it, and you just, uh, you just listen to it, and, and you just insert it in the session, and you automate it. And that's important, you know, because one of the things that DAWs bring to this thing is ease of use, the automation, and the ability to, to save the uh, sessions. So everything is, is very, very smart and, and, and very um, practical. So this is where the AFX to DAW technology comes in. It actually creates the bridge between the DAW workflow, the DAW itself, and the FPGA chips that are processing the audio. So you're able to insert the effect by just opening it up uh, like a VST plugin. And we also have brought the uh, session saving information and the automation information back to the FPGA chip. So in this way, uh, the user of the DAW sees it as, as a typical software component. You just simply open it, you insert it, and you use it, you automate it. Whereas the sound itself is being processed with the FPGA modeling engine. So what's the advantage of this thing? Well, obviously in terms of sound quality, latency, and stability, we retain all the features of the original application of the technology. So now, uh, we also talked about the ease of use advantages that come from that particular integration. Another super important thing is the CPU load. This technology does not load your CPU because the processing actually takes place in the FPGA. Your CPU uh, remains available for all the other features, for all the other things you may want to add. So people are able to use hybrid uh, approach where you use the effects that are processed on the FPGA and you're able to bring in other VSTs and, you're, and, and automate those and so have a sort of a combined application. Or you could choose, in some instances, you use them uh, in live applications or in the applications where latency is not tolerable, you would then use the FPGA. So this gives you a, a huge, huge flexibility. You're able to achieve three things. You can use them in, in live, real-time applications. You can use them as um, uh, CPU load-free uh, accelerators. So you're able to actually run with lower latency that you would be in your DAW if you were using traditional, uh, if, if all the processing would rely on chains uh, and chains of VST effects, something that some of our uh, competitors, you know, they believe they, that there is no need for hardware-based acceleration that they accomplish. They can accomplish the same thing purely from the low latency drivers and, and the uh, VST plugins. But the fact is, at this point, you know, one day I believe that may also become possible, but at this point in time, we're quite far away from that. With the modern operating systems, you still need the acceleration quality of the hardware. There has to be something that can maintain that low latency, because if you do not maintain the low latency, then the whole system breaks down at some point. And uh, additionally, even when 
the latency problem will be solved. If it will be solved, maybe one of these days, uh, operating system vendors will optimize their operating systems uh, so that there is no need of that acceleration. There remains to be the issue of sound quality, of how the modeling is done. Is the modeling done traditionally with DSP chips? Uh, is the modeling done traditionally with software algorithms? Or is it using hardware built and optimized models, which is something in FPGA? We believe that our models are unique and they are uniquely optimized to carefully recreate the sounds of the original analog equipment. So if and when uh, software vendors or operating system vendors ever resolve the stability and the latency issue, we believe that our approach remains viable and will remain viable for many, many years, if not decades to come.